Hello Grade 7, we are now in Quarter 1, Week 5A, and I am Teacher Gypsy, your Mathematics Teacher for this week. For any clarification or question, you can ask your Math Teacher for further explanation. So we have here the most essential learning competency. The learner should be able to perform operations on rational numbers. And our lesson for this week is all about forms of rational numbers and addition and subtraction of rational numbers. So we have here a pi. If I'm going to cut this pi into four, the first pi is for my brother, uh, the second one is for my sister, and the third one is for me. So how many pi do, do we have? So we have 3 pi. 3 pi is the number of parts we have, and we call it the numerator. 4 is the total parts in a whole. So, nung hinati natin, meron tayong apat. Tama? We call it the denominator. Did you get it? So, let's proceed to the rules in adding and subtracting fractions. We have there, number one, similar fractions. Similar fractions have, uh, have the same denominators. Yeah. So, we have here the steps. Step 1, add or subtract the numerator. Step 2, keep the denominator the same. And then, step 3, simplify. Let's proceed to addition first. We have there an example. Example number 1, 4 ninths plus 7 ninths. Similar fractions, as stated above, it is uh, having the same denominator. So, parehas silang 9. Tama? Ayan. So, keep the denominator the same. Just copy 9. And then, 4 plus 7 as a addition is the operation that we need to perform. So, 4 plus 7, it is equal to 11 over 9, so 11 ninths. Okay? How about in subtraction? Example number 2. 23, uh, 23 ninths minus 7 ninths. Again, copy the denominator since the same sila, parehas. And then, perform the operation. So, we need to subtract it. 23 minus 7. We have 16 over 9 or 16 ninths or the lowest term of 16 ninths is 4 third. Very easy. How about the dissimilar fractions? So, kanina parehas ang denominator. Let's see the dissimilar fractions. Are fractions that do not have the same denominators. Pag magkaiba naman ang denominators. Step 1. Find the least common denominator of both fractions. Step 2. Rewrite the fractions as equivalent fractions with the LCD as denominator. Step 3. Proceed in adding or subtracting the fractions as indicated and simplify. So, let's have first the addition. Example number 1. 2 over 15 or 2 fifteenths plus 3 fifths. The LCD is 15. So, 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Then, copy the operation or plus 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And then, proceed in adding. 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 over 15. Kung hindi na siya malawis term, then that's the answer. 
How about in subtraction? So, the same process in addition. Ayan. So, let's get first the LCD, which is 15. The LCD of 15 and 5 is 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 11. We have there 11. Then, copy the operation used, which is subtraction. So, we need to subtract it. 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 2 is 6. So, minus 6. 11 minus 6. We have 5 over 15 or 5 fifteenths. Or, the lowest term of 5 over 15 is 1 third. And, did you get it? Let's proceed to the third one, which is the mixed number. It's a whole number and a proper fraction represented together. Step 1. Convert mixed number to improper fractions. When we say improper fractions, uh, the numerator is greater than the denominator. Step 2. Add or subtract them using the rules in adding and subtracting fractions. Step 3. Simplify or convert back to mixed numbers. And okay, so let's have first the addition. Example number 1. 2 3 fourths plus 3 and a half. Okay, so convert it to improper fraction. As you can see there, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, 4, we have here 4 times 2 is 8, times 3, eh, plus 3 is 11. That's why we have here 11. Again, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. How about here? 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, 7. Did you get it? Okay. And then, perform uh, subtraction or addition. Let's find first the LCD of 4 and 2. So, the LCD of it is 4. So, 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 11. We have there 11. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 7 is 14. Did you follow? Okay. So, 11 plus 14, we have now 25 over 4. Or, going back to mixed number, pag de-divide nyo lang siya, 25 divided by 4, we have 6 and 1 fourth. Nasundan ba? I hope nasundan. How about in subtraction? Example number 2. 3 5 eighths minus 1 3 fourths. Convert it again to improper fraction. So 3. Three times five. Uh, how are we going to convert it? Three times uh, eight times three is twenty-four plus five, twenty-nine. Four times one is four plus three seven. Okay, nasundan. Oh, little. Eight times three is twenty-four plus five, twenty-nine. One times uh, four times one is four plus three seven. Then, copy the denominator, so 8 and 4. So, after that, we need to find the LCD of 8 and 4, which is 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 29, we have 29. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 7, we have there 14. Okay, and then perform the subtraction. 29 minus 14, we now have 15 over 8 or... If we're going to return it in mixed number, 15 divided by 8, we came up with the answer 1 
and 7 8 okay how about the rules in adding and subtracting decimals decimals number expressed in the scale of tens commonly when numbers include a decimal point to represent a whole number plus a fraction of a whole number tens hundreds thousands etc step one line up the decimal point so that similar place values are lined up in other words the tens place in both numbers should be lined up the ones place in both numbers should be lined up etc step two if the numbers do not have the same number of digits after the decimal point you can use filler zeros and we have their filler zeros to fi uh, to help you line up the numbers step three add or subtract as indicated okay so let's uh, have first the addition so we need to add example number one add one and four hundred twenty five thousand to one and three tenths so how are we going to write it and that's how we write it then add filler zeros yeah yung filler yung naka red na zero filler zeros so 5 plus 0 is 5 2 plus 0 is 2 4 plus 3 is 7 and then copy decimal point 1 plus 1 is 2 we have now 2 and 725 thousands did you get it okay let's proceed to the second one which is subtraction Subtract 0 and 75 thousands from 3 and 25 hundreds. Okay, that's how we write it. Then perform the operation which is subtraction. Add the filler zeros. Ayan. So, since 0 yan, we need to borrow 1 to make it 10 10 minus 5 is 5 so 4 borrow 1 to 2 magiging 4 yan borrow 1 to 2 we have 14 minus 7 is 7 since 1 na yan we have there 1 minus 0 is 1 copy the decimal point then the answer 3 minus 0 is 3. So this is now the answer. 3 and 175 thousands. Very easy. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction. Thank you.